Jeffrey Epstein's flight locks. <laughs> there are so many unanswered questions about this guy and, and his fantasy island that he had out there um, and the, 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 the tens of hundreds or even thousands of women that have been trafficked out to that island and the famous people who have been there on multiple occasions. This is crazy. We need to find out the truth behind um, what was going on there and how many people may have been or maybe still are involved. You say, well, how's that happen? He's dead. Yes, but I'm sure that you know the concept and the idea still lives on. And I think the American people, you and I, we have a right to know. We need to know who took part in Jeffrey Epstein's business. I mean, I want to know how large this business really was, not how much money he died with. I don't care. I want to know where the money was coming from. I want to hear about the survivors. There are many women who were used and abused on that island. I want to hear their stories. Where are they? Were they paid off? Maybe we can still get to them. The truth will set them free, but we got to help make that happen. Why is the government and the bureaucracy stalling about getting information about Jeffrey Epstein? I just don't get it. Now, Dick Durbin is the Judiciary Committee chairman. He claimed he wasn't aware of Senator Marsha Blackburn from Tennessee, her amendment to subpoena Jeffrey Epstein's flight locks. He claimed he never heard about it. But here's the facts, my friends. Senator Blackburn pushed for her amendment in numerous judiciary hearings that Dick Durbin presided over. You understand? He presided over on November 9th and November 30th of this year, 2023. So why is this guy lying? What's he trying to hide? You only lie for one or two reasons. Either you're guilty or you're hiding the truth for someone else. Either, either case, you're still guilty. So I want to know what's happening behind the scenes. It's been years now since Jeffrey Epstein supposedly took his own life. We don't even know if that's true. And yet none of these questions have been answered. The, the list of visitors to his island is it's, it's huge. Now, here's the thing. A guy that wealthy, um, I mean, if I didn't know what he was involved in and I got an invitation to go to his island, I mean, who knows? I may have gone. So I'm sure there were innocent people that got mixed up in it, went there, and you maybe found out or whatever. But I'm sure of all the people that went there, not all of them were scummy dirtbags. I'm sure of it. Okay. But yeah, here's the truth. Okay. Um, of all the people that did go, we know that there are some scummy dirtbags. I want to know who they are. You should want to know who they are. Because if we don't shine the light of truth on what was happening there, how do you not know it's not happening right now because the people involved may have just moved to a different place? Like, uh, who knows? Another place where they can live or do what they do with immunity. I do believe everyone is innocent till proven guilty, but some people were really closely associated with Jeffrey Epstein. Isn't there something you want to know about that? I do. I think where there's smoke, there's fire. So the unfortunate thing about this kind of business is, although Jeffrey Epstein is dead, the business, I'm sure, did not die. It was too profitable of an enterprise. So who took his place? Where did all these connections end up? Where are they going with such a lucrative business like that today? And who's in charge? If the people who were involved with him are not taken to task, what are they going to feel like? Well, looks like we got away with it. We're scot-free. We can go on and do whatever we want to do. That's how they're going to feel. And who knows where they are or what they're doing.